What is up YouTube and welcome back to a brand new vlog. So me and Liam have hijacked the vlog from the Fitzgibbon family. Uh, they are currently on a hiatus for this vlog. Um, and me and Liam are currently standing in amongst Unit 2. So we are going to take you on a full breakdown of Unit 2. What the plans are, going to give you the insights before anything even happens just so everyone knows what the story is. Going to take you through that and an arm session because we're old school bodybuilders now because that's the life we live of the bodybuilding life. So all this old school training is back and we're going to take you through an old school arm day because why not? And everyone needs bigger arms and we're old. Well, you're old. Well, John's old. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to give you a little bit of a run through of our vision, my vision. Um, of how I want the place to go and how it is going to go. Um, the mind what John says, the mind what Padge says, this is how the lab is so functional the way it is. So, the way we're going to do it, the way we're going to run about, what we're thinking is we want a place where athletes can train. Uh, and we want to cover powerlifters and a few MCM performers, high knees in there. But what we're thinking is, come with me, is down here we're thinking more or less like a powerlifting rack. Uh, we want like a powerlifting station, bringing in the proper Ilco uh, plates. Just when we want to do a, a section for someone, we want it proper. We want the state of the art racks going in, the proper deadlifting platforms, and we want the plates. We want something when you walk in going, I'm a powerlifter, like down bottom section the corner. Then we're thinking as we go along, we're bringing a little bit of old school bodybuilding into it, like the proper incline barbell presses, the decline barbell presses, what we want to do is bring that old school bodybuilding back into it. Um, so we're thinking a little bit around here, Podge. Just machines as we go through. Now, he's the biomechanical wizard, so he'll probably tell you what's going to fit, what's not going to fit. I'm here to build up. Um, but as we go through it, it is just... Now, things will change. If anyone knows of us and they've been into our gym, we have one layout for a week, then we change it again. But what we want to bring is just something different because we can actually join these two units which is going to be sick and have more of a, like an open area. We can just bring in more machines, more everything. And potentially down the line, we're thinking of a little bit of a recovery area, but we'll hold that on, on tap for the next YouTube. So Pod, take them to the next step. So we're going to show you where we're going to knock the wall, which is oh. going to be fun. I think Liam was just made for this moment to like construction. He gets to break the sneaker pants out again. I don't own sneaker pants, I wore cargoes and made them look like sneaker pants because I'm that guy. So this wall down here, we're going to basically blow a hole through the wall and make a gap because obviously anyone that knows the lab now knows it is wedged with machines. And that will always be the goal is to have loads of machines, but we're lucky that when we do move in here, we get space. So we'll be able to like move machines so that there's more space in between them and things like that. Obviously more plates more everything. So it's going to be nice to just have space because like that was one of the reasons that we took this unit early days was because we knew we had room for expansion because obviously we knew we were going to pack it out so quick and like we're only seven months in that unit now and we're already at a stage like you can see from the clips there like we have machines chilling in this unit just in storage because we've ran out of space and there's more there. There's like literally four machines there. We've like another three still in storage as well that we just have ran out of space for. So it's going to be cool to just have space um, and it's big, it's open, it's a different vibe to next door because obviously like the low ceiling, the low lights and everything next door. I'm sure Dan is going to tell us what to do with the lights because he knows lights better than we do. Um, but yeah, obviously it's going to be black like everything is in the lab. Um, so yeah, we'll have fun trying to spray these ginormous ceilings and walls. But yeah, that's pretty much what it's going to be. Um, we're looking forward to like having space because for us, what we built the gym off in the start was like the excitement around like buying new machines and like anyone that knows us is like we have an addiction to buying gym equipment, whether it's racks, bars, machines, whatever it is, we have an addiction to buying it. And when you're limited to your addiction because you've no more room, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's not the same. So we're excited to, to go shopping again. We have a big shopping list of like more Stairmasters, more treadmills, more Smith machines, the powerlifting section more machines in general, machines that people have never seen before. We want to be that place. Abductor, an abductor machine. Oh, yeah. That's the most requested machine there is. Yeah. Don't know what it is with people. 
abductor that's coming in. Yeah. So AstroTurf for Steve McMahon, if we can get it in, if he might be lucky. We'll if, it, if Steve McMahon binges 100 kilos, we'll get him an Astro. <laughs> <laughs> like, so this, imagine the AstroTurf is here. This is Steven, you'll see him now. This is the A skips and he's B skips. But we're thinking. What about MCM a skips? Black AstroTurf, not your green one, black and white. Just thinking something along the line down here, just where people can do their three minute walking lunges. It's just going to be sick. It's just you have so much room. Like, as you can see, the actual height of it, it's just going to be sick. Everything's going to change in there. We're thinking, come up to the top then. So, what we're doing, the whole reception is probably going to change. We're going to have a new introduction to the gym. So, we're thinking this is going to be our new area. Now, it's hard to imagine, but we imagine it. We imagine it. And you just come along for the ride. New reception area here. This is where you're going to come into the gym. Then you're going to be greeted by this massive open area. Then you're going to see this continuation of the gym when you walk through that wall. And it's just going to be machines, machines, machines. Canvases, canvases, canvases. And it's just going to be just something different. There's so much room for growth. There's so much, like, for us now, we're not limited, which is the first time in four years. Yeah. Four years, we're actually not limited by space, where it's just, an empty canvas and then John can go wild, Podge can go wild and all this do the building. Simple as. So let us know what you think in the comments, what machines we should get, what else we should add in. That's the most important thing. It's going to go, yes, we have a way we want to add stuff in, but if we want to keep our members happy, we want to keep, we want to see new members in. We want to see people coming down day passes. What will make you drive down for Dublin to come to our gym? Let us know in the comment box down below and we'll make it happen. Powerlifting section, even though you put out your back powerlifting. Yeah, bad back. Bad but powerlifter, but look, we'll build you a powerlifting section anyway. Powerlifting, speed, fastness, growthness, all of it. And all the Now you're none of them. No, none of them. So, so let us know.